It's time to take this farmhouse out of hibernation and prepare it for the summer season. The century-old Emmental house from the Alpine foothills is only one of over 100 traditional Swiss farmhouses displayed at the Open Air Museum in Ballenberg near Breens. This is one of my favourite rooms in Ballenberg. It's the oldest part of the building. It has a kitchen with two fireplaces. The young family lived and cooked on one side of the room, while the grandmother's place and stove was on the other. I find this very impressive. The buildings in Ballenberg are originals coming from all regions of the country. All of them were in danger of being pulled down on their original site. Here they bear architectural and social historical witness to rural life in the past. Like this late Baroque farmhouse from Ostermundigen near Bern. An example of rural architecture around 1800, which put little importance on the use of genuine materials, but rather on the overall impression. The facade was painted grey to imitate precious sandstone, and the top windows are fake too. The museum is in its 34th year and still features some novelties. This year Ballenberg presents a new barn and stable from Valls, originally built in 1780. The museum also has 250 indigenous farmyard animals. These seven-year-old oxen get special training for this year's program. It's not an easy task. They're good-natured animals, but very strong. They need a very strong hand. That means you have to be always the, the, the boss from them. And that's difficult. We train them to pull our many farming machines. Harrows, plows and carriages. The goal is to show people how farming was done in the past. As they will have to pull a lot of weight on various surfaces, the oxen need horseshoes. It's a craft only very few people still know. For this, blacksmith Nicholas Maurer has to take the oxen's footprints. Meanwhile, this house of Turgau is filling with activity. The cleaners having completed their work, it's time now to refurbish the rooms. Most of the houses are empty when they come to Ballenberg. So we have to refurbish them with items that match the social class of the former inhabitants. In this case we're dealing with a middle-class farmhouse from Uslingen in Turgau. We had to look for items from the region that match the building's time period. This is difficult. Houses can survive hundreds of years, but items used in everyday life are very delicate. We have to treat them extremely carefully. Sometimes even the best treatment is not enough. Some hungry mice have worked on the lid of this flower jar. But then again, this was part of rural life too. Currently there are 35 people working on the Ballenberg site. Once the doors are open to visitors in mid-April, there will be 200 employees, including a wide range of traditional craftsmen and women, performing their skills for the public. For blacksmith Maurer, the season has started early this year. He's about to finish the first horseshoe for one of the oxen. It's uh, very traditional. The techniques didn't change about 3,000 years now from the beginning of the blacksmith work. Once the horseshoes have been completed, it's then the job of a specialist to fix them skillfully on the animals. <laughs> 